Why oh, is not picking us up so much? I'm going to try and talk a little bit louder on this today because um, someone said on the last one that it was a little quiet. So maybe it maybe it was just them. Anyway, that's your suit, you reckon? Right there? That's pretty good, isn't it? What's up, crew? It's Monday. One, it's a two, cool one, cast. two. <laughs> Lady checking in. That, close. that will that will deafen people. Sorry, <laughs> headphone users. <laughs> so it's Monday. It's Crewcast. We're back on track as promised. And Lainey's making regular appearances on here now because it's a good bounce. We like it. It's fun. Gives us. And now you, now we're having time together. <laughs> this does not count. <laughs> it so counts. Come on. It does not Damn count. It. This is not a date, like. <laughs> I'd like to what are you out. talking we about? There's had... a fire on in the corner. I asked, could we have coffee just to like <laughs> spruce it up? And no, you're but like, that's no. That's because we have someone coming in about an hour and a quarter to check for asbestos or something. To delouse us. To delouse us, yeah. Um, so, yes, we are back. Back on regular scheduling. I um, hope you all enjoyed the last podcast. A lot of you um, liked the ending of it, the positive thoughts about the little wins going a long way and not feeling secure in the gym. I'm glad that helped. Um, I should really start sharing this on my social media as well if I'm going to be making regular appearances. Yeah, I, was do just it. Th- I was just thinking my followers might like to listen to it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some are. I've been getting messages. People liking it. Stalkers. So yeah, check out everyone's <laughs> links in the description as always, guys. Um, uh, what have we had going on? So I just released a video yesterday, which was my deadlift PR attempt. If you haven't watched it, go watch that. It's pretty cool. I think I did a pretty decent edit on that considering I filmed it on uh, Potato Cam. Potato Cam, a.k.a mobile phone cause this I, will probably actually go up at the same time as my competition videos going up okay so you've got two videos today if you're on youtube you've got yeah. two videos you've got this video um but obviously this crewcast is also released on all platforms soundcloud and itunes uh, so links for those if you're on youtube are in the description and links for youtube if you're on the others are in the description of your uh, itunes and all that kind of jazz but just search lex fitness um it's also, at the same uh, time as my yes, so was... Lainey's competition video, your competition video will yeah, be up. Yeah, I so have it preloaded, it's ready to go. With no no mild argument at all about that, was the footage-wise. <laughs> Luckily, see, Lainey I has... don't know how I did it, but I managed to delete all my show day footage, and I literally was close to tears, and then Lex found it. On my disc, because I'd stolen the footage to just use clips of it okay. for my video. So luckily, I'd used the clips. Yeah. Luckily. Anyway, so you got a video courtesy of Lex's tardiness and uh, to delete things, and Lainey's over... Zealousness to delete things yeah. came together to form a perfect union. Um, and I put out a tweet earlier today, uh, literally maybe an hour ago. So I should do this. What I'll start doing is I'll put out a tweet the night before about topic subjects you guys want covered, and we'll go through them that way. I think we'll that's going to be a little bit better. We'll be able to cover everything because we've only got an hour. No, uh, obviously, but then we can pick so up. We only wants to. We Basically, want to do more in depth. If, if I read it and it's like a response and the topic's like, oh yeah, that's cool, then we'll, we'll do it. You know, if, if it fires yeah. off. A, a so note, make them so. relevant, guys. Yeah. Oh, and also, <laughs> please stop messaging. Like someone messaged me the other day saying, "Hey, I want to get fit. What do you suggest?" That's like how long is a piece of string? How long is a piece of string? Yeah. Meaning of life? Whilst about it? Would you like me to do just a subcontext of how long is a piece of string? It's that you can't ask such open ended questions. There are literally thousands of studies and papers dedicated to single minute subjects. And you're asking basically what is the universe when you ask things like that? It is, there is no simple answer to that question. I usually say when people ask, like, kind of open-ended questions about fitness and diet i just say start start with the diet just start because it's not even start with the diet just start start in general because most people who are asking those questions literally just do nothing they don't watch their food and they don't go to the gym so when they ask that question they're completely lost so what you just have to say is just start start doing something it doesn't have to be three hours in the gym every day it doesn't Mm. have to be a super deficit diet all it has to be something. Track your food and do some form of exercise. Move, That's the beginning. Be more and active. then yeah, and then like from there you can develop it. You're not going to become an, an Olympic athlete and that overnight. That takes us back again to our little wins. Yeah. Set yourself little goals. That little thing over time. Little things build up to one big result. So yeah, yeah just go. Fuck it. Same goes for everything. If you want to do it, don't talk. Just fucking go. Yeah, stop asking people questions and go and do something about it. I, I think people are just looking for the shortcut, I think. Yeah, we are. We're becoming lazy. I think a, everyone everyone wants a shortcut. Ever, I, I yeah. like Googling all the time how to get skinny legs. But <laughs> at the end of the day, I just need to stop acting like a dick and just get my legs in shape. It's hope, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, it's not always laziness. Sometimes it's just 
and oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, sometime <laughs> Google will give me the answer. Yeah, one time. Yeah. Once Google rules the world. Yeah. It's basically a, a god right now anyway. Um, I talk, someone, people want to talk on macros. I, I'm going to do a video on that in the next week because today I've started the first day. So day one of a seven day transformation. I'm going to film for you guys, which will culminate in a singular video. So it'll be seven days put into one video showing you how I'm going to manipulate the way my body looks now to making it look more shredded and lean within a seven day period and how you can manipulate the body. And my purpose for doing this video is I'm sick of people talking about fucking steroids. It drives me insane. People's lack of knowledge of how a body changes from sitting on a sofa to getting a pump and then from um, a diet to stage kind of manipulation. Mm. And people all assume it's all intricately layered levels of drug taking. It's driving me nuts. So I just want to do an extreme seven day thing that you couldn't maintain and you can't do all the time. It's like a, almost a peak week style um, extremeness, but it's going to be a lot more cardio than that. It's really good. Oh, that's my face cream. Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> Men's <laughs> Nivea face cream Nivea. cooling thing. You smell bother. cleaner. <laughs> I kind of was like, is it me? <laughs> so yeah, that'll be up um, uh, probably, obviously not this week, so I'll film it all this week and it'll probably be up end of next week. But it'll be interesting to see. Um, and hopefully it'll give you guys as well a bit of perspective on things because it's going to be very raw. Um, but also I've got to make it not too long. so that I just I'm just surprised yeah. actually I haven't gotten, I think I've gotten maybe one or two comments throughout my entire prep of like that accusing me of being on steroids, which I, I normally get a lot more to be honest. So I, I was quite, maybe I've just blocked all the haters Yeah, yeah that only that these point. two people <laughs> slip through. In 20 weeks now, that's not bad. No. Nope. But one thing I wanted to talk about was... Just, like, Just and before, a lot we, before people, we go on to your topic, yeah. so those macros and things like that will be covered in the video I'm putting up, which is why we're not going to go into it in depth now. Plus, we could talk for an hour on just macros alone, and that would be dull. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll concentrate that into a, the video. So go. What was your topic? Um, it was about, and a lot of people have been talking about it just generally. Yeah. It's about, um, there was a girl did a thing about trolls and about how, you know, you put up a picture of yourself, you put yourself out there on social media, and... People just pick you apart. Now, I don't know if it's, it's obviously men and women for different reasons, but this girl is just like, she's an online influencer. She puts up funny pictures and put funny little memes. And like, she puts up a picture and she just started um, editing her photos. And like, she went all over the BBC and everything this week because of it. Because she started editing her photos to look like what the people want her. Because like, you'll get comments like, your lips are too small, your arms well, are too so big. So she deliberately started So then editing. she started editing her photos going, oh, my lips are too small, so I'll make my lips bigger. Oh, my, what, my because waist. she was insecure or to test to see what would happen? No, no, no. And like, this was like dramatic. This wasn't like, she wasn't doing like, little bit of lip bigger it was like dramatic so she made herself look like one of those freaks you know get loads of plastic surgery and like she had the, the things i don't know how she edited them but she managed to make it move and everything so like oh, she was literally an yeah and like she literally looked like a freak and um it's just to show like that like i think when people put out negativity online they don't realize that the person is not just an online person it's an actual no it, what it is it's, it's disassociation because you're looking at a screen this isn't yeah. a human being there's no feelings going to come back from this yeah. and there's no also there's no there's no recourse for your comments either yeah. really which is why they started having people getting legal action but like on it's like yeah like it, so it, it's cyberbullying like no matter what you put out there if you're i no matter even if i have a negative thought in my head about someone i would never even think about putting those negative thoughts into words on someone's social media profile. I just don't have that negative, to be yeah, honest, but, I don't no, have- but Then you work on social media, in, so you also have that view from the other side. Whereas think about when I was, when I was like 12 or 13 on the internet on a chat room, I would say horrendous stuff. Oh, that's just awful. Strangers. You see, I wouldn't. Because I'm you think like, it's funny at the time. I and just, I just don't think it is funny though. No, and it's I not, think it isn't I, funny. And like and you it, saying that now almost that will also, will encourage like young guys to say, yeah, I do too, and I think it's funny. Lex thinks no, it's funny, no, no. but it's not funny. You shouldn't even say no, that. It was I'm saying funny. mental. You as a child, twelve yeah, years as old. Yeah, as a child. Yeah, twelve years old. You think it's funny to yeah, do Yeah, but that. I think if there's any children listening to this right now, because like we obviously would have a younger no, audience no, as well. It's not funny. It's not funny. No matter whether you think it's funny or not, someone reads that and someone gets hurt by it. And I get comments, oh, and Lex like, yeah, it's just a troll. But it doesn't matter. It still is someone saying something nasty about you. Yeah, like I had a guy you... going, oh, um, her uh, her body's great, but her face looks like, um, what was it? Uh, 
Um, oh, I remember you saying something nice about like, fire. Oh, 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 a burns no, victim. You did. You did. A, you did. You were, you were videoing. And you went. This is me without makeup. Yeah. And um, it was. It was a really weird lighting, as you were saying on the thing. It just um, so made you just look like you were freck, super freckly. Like more, but, but, but he said no. He didn't even then, comment about that. He commented about in my video that my face looked like a burns victim. Not only is that insulting to me, it's insulting to people who actually are burns victims. Yeah, but that's what I mean. And it's I disassociation. Just think, I just think it's just it. Why would you even say that? Because even if there's I, no recourse. That's why. That's what you I mean. Can, I, I could go on here now and tweet the most horrific shit on earth to a random person. There's going to be no comeback from it other than that person getting upset. I think you're or yeah, an exactly. Argument on Twitter. But that is so, the thing. Yeah, but all not, you're doing is upsetting there's no punishment someone. For it. Yeah, but there's no punishment, so I don't care. There and if, should be. And if you're detached, and you've got to remember as well, it might be a twelve-year-old or yeah. a ten-year-old. Oh, like to, no, to be honest, the you amount of nasty that. DMs I get, which means that they actually know that they're yeah, physically. Okay. Direct messaging me to tell me I look disgusting. Not just that they 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 don't like me or they don't like my page. That I look disgusting. That's what they say. And I like a lot of times it's uh, middle aged women and middle aged men. Because I go into their profiles and I'm like, that's just horrible. That Dude, your yeah. life is that awful. That well, you that want you, to you've say got, you've something. Got kids. Oh, you've yeah. got kids. This is how you want your children to behave. Yeah. Would you Come like? On, I'm man. I'm someone's daughter. Yeah. I'm someone's sister. I'm someone's wife. And like you would say that to me, would you like that to be said to your wife, daughter, or sister? I don't think so. That's definitely. And I think I think it really needs to be talked about more because you keep on saying you should just let it go, Lini. And I do let it go, but I just think it's like not right. Like I don't let it affect me, no, it's like not down right, to my core. But it's not okay though. It's just not okay. You can't go on about private messages because no one's seeing those there. So you've got to let them go because what? what are well, you I had drink? a girl as well put up uh, on her on her story tagged me in it so she knew I'd see it but then I wasn't following her so I couldn't I had no way of getting like she no didn't recourse. she didn't put it up on my YouTube video where other people would have been able to have um conversation about it and agree or disagree with her no she put it up on her story so that I could have no comeback to it only to direct message her back and like it was what she said was wrong and it was defamatory is that the right word defamatory yeah yeah and it was just uncalled for so I request that she take it down and eventually she did because I blocked her but I got, to be honest if you say something hateful or hurtful to me or Lex all you're going to get is blocked you're just not going to be able to see our content really? anymore I don't get that much I don't get that much that's what I mean the I don't only like... thing I get is nothing personal it's always, anno- it's always just nonsense about people not understanding what they're looking at and maybe no, mine is hurt. Here's here's the thing that people need nasty. to do more. Here's what people need to do more is yeah, Be nice. but that's it's no I mean, it, that that outlet that little blah, that little moment where it's blah, anger hate. Yeah. It's they're only they're only putting onto you what they're feeling in their own mm. life at that moment in time. It's not really anything too much to do yeah. with you. You're just the outlet for what they're disliking. But they need to control that mechanism. Yeah. That's all you need to do is break that cycle. When you have that negative thought, is to actively catch yourself yeah. and stop. That's the only way. Like, if I got in a vicious cycle of think- thinking negatively no, about people do. online. No, not but about but, something. It could be anything. Yeah. We, we've both been negative yeah. about But we, we, we catch something. each other. Though. And we catch it, yeah. yeah. And, we say, and we're like, you need to stop talking about that now. It's done. That. Yeah. yeah, you're done. Uh, we're we're yeah. done with this conversation now. We're moving on. Yeah. Because yeah. like we do, we get in like little ruts about talking about things that annoy us. Like even this today. This could have been a conversation between us that could have really like escalated, but now we're just talking it out in a public forum where people can go. You know what, Lainey is right. Like it's just wrong, and maybe it'll ca- you'll catch yourself where you're about to say something sarcastic. And remember as well, when you write something online, people can't hear your tone. They can't hear that you're being sarcastic or that yeah. you're making a joke of it. They're just reading your actual words. So if you are saying it in a funny way, but someone's going to interpret it bad, maybe just don't say it. You know, yeah. like, I just, like, think, Agreed. like, really think about what you're saying. Because at the end of the day, no matter how many followers, like, whether someone has a million followers, no, 10 million, followers, or that. whatever. Just like in everyday I, life, you, you affect people. Yeah. No matter how much you think you're an inadequate part of the world because you're feeling down or whatever, you matter and you affect anyone you come into contact with. Yeah. Whether you think you do or you don't, you do. And you have a, res- but not, yeah. not even a responsibility. Have just some some self worth to want to be yeah. a decent human being. And if most people did that, we'd be a much much better. I always say that, like it's like um, even backstage at the competition, there was a lot of people, you know, with the the very sad faces on because like it was the end of the world that they're having to do this bodybuilding competition. But 
I just stood and I smiled and I smiled and I smiled and I smiled until I got smiles back and people start smiling back because if you smile, it's like contagious. Yeah. People, you can't <laughs> help smiling at someone who's smiling. And I try to put that out there in the world. If you, if you be the reason someone smiles, maybe just they got, think I'm a just loony. Got an image of you on the London Underground, which is the most inhospitable place on earth. You can't ask anyone the time without them thinking they're gonna, you're gonna murder them. And just you sat there. <laughs> Green and namely, trying to make a you would be <laughs> you'd be arrested. <laughs> it's that uncommon. No, but I just think like <laughs> smiling at people, saying thank you. Thank saying, you. Oh my god. Common courtesy. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ, where have we got people, if someone holds a fucking door open for you, move something out of your way, reparks their car so you can get out of theirs easier, say thank you. Yeah. You're not owed that in the world. That's politeness give and take oh, Do you know the, what I, the difference I, it makes in my life if someone just says thanks is you know if, if you go into starbucks or into a coffee shop oh. and they give you your coffee and they look like they're not having the best day because they've been serving coffee to assholes all day <laughs> to, to say to them thank you have a nice day you know what that might actually brighten up do, that do you know, person's day going to america so much has instilled in me that one little phrase have not, nice not day. like, not awkward, not, not like, not awkward, sorry, not robotically. I mean, literally, I think about saying it because yeah. I know it makes me feel better. So, literally, I do that yeah. when I go and I go, cheers, have a great day. And, pe- and in England, we don't say it. It's not like a, it's not a term that we just... use. No, no, it's definitely, America, they use it like at, Maybe at Irish service places where, where you're provided a service. Yeah. But in England, there's no like customer service to say, thanks, have a good day afterwards, instilled by any management. So, it's rare over here. So, when you say it, people literally go, Oh, yeah, you too. I have said it's it nice. in a sarcastic way to um, the guy at Manchester Airport who keeps moving you when you're waiting for someone to go. Oh, yeah, fly. no. I'm Jesus. like, have a great day, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and just undone the whole conversation we had. <laughs> yeah, but right. like, he actually, so, I actually mm-hmm. asked him, did he hate his life? Because he was Oh, just... so what some of them, though, are dicks about it. <laughs> he was a like, dick. Yeah. There was no other cars there and he made me move. Yeah, there's no other cars. I was just like, Come on, dude. He started writing me a ticket. And I'm like, a ticket for what? For, for picking someone up from the I'm airport. like, my mum's just coming now. And I was like, oh, oh you must hate your life. Yeah, but like, he just, he, he was out does. to, but he was out to ruin my day. I yeah, was yeah, there yeah. to pick up my well, mum and have a nice weekend. Spreading his, in, yeah. his, his hate. In Don't that way. be a hater. If you're yeah. like one of those people who just likes Plus, to be Plus just generally, if you're nice and you ask people that, people are more likely to do do things that, that help you and help you out. Misery and is contagious as well, misery guys. Misery loves misery. So it is true. I'm telling you, you go in with a miserable face on you and see how many people are miserable by, by lunchtime in work. Everyone, because it spreads. It's like Whereas if you go in and just get on and with work. And I'll tell you why. Because being being sad and being moany and being mopey and being hateful is, it's lazy. It's easy. Yeah. It takes no energy to do that. And that's why it happens. You have to actively think positively. You, act, you have to be that way by choice. And that takes yeah. energy. And that's why people don't do it. So if you're feeling a bit shitty right now and you're feeling a bit down, literally tell yourself, stop. Yeah. Move on. We're moving onward. Right. Let's make a plan. What we're doing. You literally have to do that because yeah. otherwise you'll sit and wallow. Because I mean, that's what ends up. You know, that's where depression comes from. Is when yeah. we, people are affected by a hormonal change and then get into that moment, but then they get engulfed by it. And it is because it takes no energy for it to engulf you, but it takes a lot of energy to stay above it. Mm. And that's fair enough. So if you're feeling a bit a bit down or whatever, go for a walk outside. If you've been stuck inside all day, um, if you've been watching you know, TV all day, turn that fucker off. Unless you're watching what us I think on has smart TV. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, or just come back don't, later. Don't don't turn us off. That's really bad advice. But literally, go Listen for a walk outside. Podcasts. Go for a walk outside. I tell you what's really good for if you're feeling down is to actually tell someone, I'm feeling down. Don't go and say, I'm fine, if they ask what's wrong. Don't go on Facebook and put a sad face and go, Ugh. No, don't go on and social then when media at says, all. What's up, Hunger? Go to DM someone. Me. <laughs> no, to say to someone, this is legit. What go I'm to telling. a real human being. Go yeah, and go. like you go into work and someone says, Are "You okay?" Because they sense that you're not right, and the majority of people go, "Oh, I'm fine. It's nothing." But what you really should say is, you know what, I'm having a shit day. And just talk to someone. Not, no one's going to say, oh, uh, I don't want to talk to you about this. You know, you're not going to make anyone feel uncomfortable. So just like say to them. And you'll talk it through and you might actually find a friend that you never knew you had. Because that's what happened to me. I made a lot of friends that way by just going, you know what, I'm having a craft day, can I talk to you? That's very true. Mm. Yeah, you make you make the best friends in the most yeah. random places. Um, I think, well, that was a bit of a detour on... Um, well, it's not say, really. Segwaying for, away from our Twitter conversation, which is probably going to be more... Um, Fitness oriented, but yeah, yeah. Well, ask, fitness ask, and yeah. fitness. And I, I don't want this. I mean, we do enough videos on all the fitness stuff. Yeah, let's make these 
we have we have an hour at the moment that we do these for. And some will probably run longer when we have other people in and things like that. But we're trying to go do an hour. So I think that is a good amount of time for people to be able to listen over cardio, maybe car journeys. You listen to it halfway to work, halfway back. This is back, like more like life kind of chats. Job. Yeah. It's so not we just chat about, about anything on here. Like literally favorite TV shows at the moment. I just started watching that new one on Netflix, which is Lost in Space. Hey, I would watch that with you. You say that all the time. No, and then it only went on yesterday. Never watch it. It went on yesterday. I got a notification, and your friend Mark was over yesterday, so I didn't get to say, "Hey, let's watch Lost in Space together." Okay, well, watch four episodes, and you'll catch me up. Probably only is eight. <laughs> it's all right. It's a bit bloaty, but it's decent enough. Um, but yeah, things like that. What are you? What are you watching? House of Cards what do you love? is coming back. How? They're going to do one last series to tie off all the loose ends. Yeah, but how? Without him. How? I'm not watching that. I don't care. Space was the best bit. Mm. I'm not watching it. I'm out. Oh, I will. I'm out. I'm out. What's my favourite TV show? Apart from Gilmore Girls. Friends. No. That's not my favourite TV show at all. <gasps> no, it's not. Oh, it's so good. It's not even the funniest TV show. I will feed you to the dogs. I know. There's way funnier shows than okay, Friends. Okay, no. Friends no. is one of the ones. Cleverest. Is that iconic? You've got to go there. It's sort of one of the No, cleverest. it's not the cleverest. How is it not? You can rewatch it. You can literally it's watch the, the same cleverest. episode on the same day twice and you will still rewatch it. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't that make it clever. It, of course it does. It, it makes the, it brainwashed. The intelligence that had to go into the filming of those episodes to keep you engaged. No. I think, tell you what Friends was. It's, it was something new in the time it was. No, tell me something that's been written like Friends that's been that successful that's been running for that amount of time. Um, you can't because everything else slowly fades away. You yeah. can't, Frasier, brilliant, but you can't rewatch it as much as you can Friends. Oh yeah, you can. No, you, you, no, no, because they're, they're too, they're too detailed and in depth. The Friends thing is, is I'm not disputing, like, I'm not disputing that just, Friends just is, genius. I'm not saying that it's, it's not genius and that it's not brilliant and it wasn't like one of the best shows. I'm just saying that I don't think it was the best comedy I'm show. I'm just saying. There's some that were, are meet... really underrated, like Happy Endings. That got cut. No, but it got cancelled. Yeah, but that so was... we never saw it to fruition. Awesome. That was one of the funniest shows ever, and there was it only was a couple very, of series. Good. I love that If show. anyone wants to watch something, just No, like, don't. No, no. Don't start watching Happy Endings, because you will just get annoyed when it just stops. It, it, there, you just have to know that there's only a couple of series on Don't do it to yourselves. You did I that really to me. Loved... That apart- don't talk to the apartment... Uh, the bitch in apartment 13. What is it? 23? Oh, are... oh, Whatever it is. God. Don't talk to the bee in apartment 23. Yeah, that's is that what it is? No. no? Don't talk to... It's what is not, it? It's not don't talk to at all. What is it? It's just the bitch in apartment 23. No, it, had, it definitely says it started with a don't talk and then they changed the title at some point. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to anyway, Google that later. it's on Netflix. But that's another so. one that just ends and they just cancelled it and it was fucking brilliant. Anyway. Um, yeah, so favourite ones at the moment. What Parks are you watching? and Recreation is brilliant. We've watched it. I know, but I'm just saying. Oh, it is brilliant, yeah. What are you talking about? Like, there's I, no I one else to answer no, us. Who I, I are you waiting some, for? I'm waiting for, for no, the people the on podcasts. podcast. Don't comment below. Yeah, I want to know what to watch get... next. I know, but we're talking about ones that we like. Oh, that we like, yeah. Parks and Recreation, Friends, Weeds, Gilmore Girls. I'll weeds. admit that. They are all ones that I recommended. I'd like to find <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, Weeds. Um, weeds, brilliant. That was sheer genius. Yeah, it's very good. And it, it gets really dark without getting even slightly dismal. It's, it's mm. very clever. Very good. I'm watching that um, Good Girls right now, and it's quite mm. dark and good. You you have you've just kind of slipped in and out, so you don't know. It's actually really really clever and really good. It's really good. It's dark as well because of all like the illegal shit going on. I Is like that the it. one where they're smuggling stuff? The group of women. Yeah, but there's just loads. You've mm. only watched bits and bobs of it. You've mm. watched like five minutes here or there. Yeah, I'm you not have to into watch. It. No, you have to watch the entire thing through. But you know when it's big groups of women. Lex is very anti-woman. I'm not anti-woman. He grew no, up... don't go on. Because social media say I'm anti woman I grew up with three sisters and a mother. Exactly. I don't know anti-woman. how you create. they created that. <laughs> when Like, he goes, you women. Oh, my God. It's a joke. Listen, if we say you women as men, don't kick her out. We're, we're, it's funny. We it's don't not. mean it. It's exactly like what we said earlier. But no, sometimes again, you say things that you shouldn't say. Oh, come on. No, fuck off. No. There has got to be comedy and humour in the world and you have to be light-hearted. Piss off, you can't take everything seriously. You will, be a, you will become one of those miserable people. No, no. You're I, not no. allowed the to The thing is, it's simple You're things. Not you can, you can, you women, it's just like, see, you men, we don't take offence to it. I wouldn't say that, I'd be saying there was a time Because there was a I time in history where women were held down and that's why you took offence to it. But we're not referring to anything like that. 
It's nonsense. Yeah, you're bringing it back to no, those No, we're not. Ages. It's not even not even anything to do with that. That's what I mean. Lightheartedness, don't know. You, you no. probably just shouldn't no, do it. No, I'm calling it's... veto on that. Kind of, that's bullshit. I think anyway, Lex is wrong. Anyway, my point being is, I don't, I just don't, I I mean, Gilmore Girls was good because it was quick-witted, but again, it had a male lead in it that, we have to have someone we can relate to. When it's a, when it's a TV show just about loads of women, we can't relate to it as such. Uh, and, there's gangsters in Good Girls. Yeah, but still, as the way it's advertised, and they're badass. the reason I didn't start watching it is because it's, it was just, it was, everything no, was involved around to, a group no, of women. You so you're like, to, meh, I'm, I'm kind of out. Actually, you used to watch Desperate Housewives as well, and that was all women. No, I gave up on that. I gave up after about season three, I think it was. Good Girls is good, anyway. I think it's really good. It's really clever. Orange is Black as well, gave up on that. Orange and is that, the new There's black. no denying that's great. I just really didn't connect you with You have it. to really learn the names of the TV shows. Orange is the New it. Black. What it, Orange is New, yeah. I gave up on that as well because I couldn't connect with it. Oh, Orange is the New Black. I cried at the last episode, the last series, and the one before that. done. Because they're always good. No, I thought it was still going. No, no, they're still going. They just said right. it was the last episode. They just haven't released more. I uh, just said, Orange is the New Black is the kind of thing that I'll watch in two days. And you know, I don't do that. I don't really don't do that. Lex watching. will binge watch TV shows, but I, I like to have one a night. Binge watching is the greatest thing ever because patience is not my virtue. It's brilliant. Um, I even, oh, I even appreciate when they release a couple of episodes at a time because then it limits you to stop. Sometimes you're annoyed that you're watching the entire series. Like Peaky Blinders, I just annihilated that and I loved it. So but then I was also seriously angry that it was already vote over within like three days of it being released. Oh, our series it. that we love, Lex, Life in Pieces. Oh my God, yeah, this oh, is it, one. This is no, people brilliant. People don't know about this it's show. It's so good. Life in Pieces. Look it up. Amazon. It's, on Amazon. it's yeah, an it's Amazon, Amazon one. Prime. If you've got Amazon Prime, um, I don't know if people still don't know this. You, if you have Amazon Prime account for delivery, you get Amazon Prime TV. I know a lot of you are going, yeah, of course, Lex. But I think so I still think people don't understand I that, have you known can, that on your Fire Stick, you can you just get it and you can watch these shows. So go on there and watch Life in Pieces. It's so, good. so funny yeah. and it's. Again, it keeps you entertained because there's four stories in every episode. Every episode's only half an hour. Yeah. So it's like you get these little seven minute like bursts of just a little story and a load of funny enough. And then it moves on. Like literally yeah. that story's over, it moves on. There's no carryover hardly. It's, yeah. It's very and they're all clever. kind of linked. But it's all the same Modern characters every week. Well. And it's, we it's, all, it's, it's a two, two, three families all together. So it's not like it's separate sketches. Yeah. It's maintained within it's the same people. Kind of like Modern people, Family. But just a story a from bit. their life each each episode. It's funny. It's very well done. A little bit done. like Modern Family except without the gay. Modern Family, another yeah. great one. Yeah. yeah. That's still going actually. That's yeah, so, yeah. New series that. coming out. Will and Grace, new series Oh, and it gets Roseanne, new series. Roseanne, I'm still a bit mm, they're doing okay I think they need to be a little bit more you know what when it. you were out the other day I watched the last series from before yeah like from 20 original. years ago and you know in the last series how it got all a bit weird how they won the lotto and I don't remember it yeah that's why I had to watch it they won the lot and all this but then in the la- very last episode of the last series of Roseanne um, it turned out that the whole of the last series was a script that she was writing. She was writing a novel and uh, that Dan had actually died and how, what? yeah. That's re- alive. Yeah, I know. But did you not see that in the first episode of the new series? They were like on, oh, all this talk about Dan dying. Uh, so they completely undid that last series. It was right. like, it was all a bit of a hoax. They brought it back because in the last episode, it was just all a bit weird. It was where Roseanne was actually writing a whole story. That's clever. Ah, okay. So... Yeah, so we got Rose. I'm still a bit in on that one, but with um, Will and Grace, I didn't like the first two episodes, and then it got back it, to it comes it, back. It yeah. comes back to what it should be. Yeah, um, Jack and Karen. Right. So that's our TVs, our favourite TV programs. That's let's, uh, let's have a look at these Twitter questions quickly. Let's see if we can find them. It's dead such air, a convoluted Alex, way. Air. It's such dead a convoluted air. way of getting to your own Twitter feed. Here we go. Scratching. So if it's not itchy. Oh, Desire Brand updates. Bradley, um, okay, so we have all the stocking and everything like that. We're reordering all the packaging and parceling and things like that. We were going to release this week, but Lainey pointed out, I bought her a surprise birthday trip to um, some <laughs> a beach holiday, all inclusive, and we're going away for five days to have just let Lainey have a relax after the stress of the show and everything like that. Um, if we release before that, our ability to be able to contact you guys and keep things running streamlined is going to be diminished severely. So... Uh, we decided not to do that and we're going to yeah. release it when we get back. So it'll be released probably end the month. the end of the month. Yeah. And um, if you go onto the website, you can sign up to the newsletter. I will send out, it's, it's us that controls everything as well. So don't worry about any of the information. It's literally us running all that on the back end. Um, it's just me. I'll send out an email with maybe, a sp- I'll, I'll add in a little discount code for those that sign up for that and have been listening to the podcast. 
Maybe. I'll do that. Yeah, and send that out on the on release day for people who are podcasters. Who are the crew, podcast crew, the crew cast. Maybe. Maybe. Just a little one, just say thank you. If if I allow it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the update on that. We have They're everything. Three t shirts and um two jeans coming oh, out, skinny fit. Diet questions. Um so we'll go through these, yeah. Let's have a quick one. Bit of an insight into lean gain, calorie excess. So um, these are all questions you this, can answer. This is gonna be answered in the upcoming video, so I'm not gonna go into that one now. This one's here though, a deload week and what to avoid during this time. Um, deload weeks. I don't do them. You Simple only ass. need them if you're doing really high intensity training or really heavy lifting that requires kind of rest. Other than that, um, once every eight weeks is probably enough. Once every six, if you're going really hard, don't need to be doing them once every three, which is a thing at one point. That's too often. Um, and things to avoid during this time, you don't need to avoid anything. It's deload. You just do like 40% of maxes instead. That's all it is. And you do nothing to failure, which you shouldn't really be doing too much anyway. Um, but it's basically just keep moving. What have you got going on there? Just reading an email. Don't we? No. Jo- Unbelievable. You have Cannot to do get questions the staff that these you days. want to get me involved in. People putting up male orientated. I might How is well that male orientated? D load applies to women. There's lots of women doing a lot of really? heavy squatting and stuff like that now. Yeah. And just high intensity training. It doesn't have to be People heavy. People ask me about my training because I do high volume. And. To be honest, there's no rhyme or reason to me doing high volume, like as in results-wise. It's just because that's what I enjoy. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything I don't enjoy. If I get sick of doing high volume, I'll change it up. But yeah. right now, that's what I like. And I've been doing it for a long time. But yeah, that's pretty much when people ask, why do you do train this way for this? or That's why. Yeah. Because I enjoy it. I have more program, more of a programmed approach than that. But pretty much, yeah, do what you enjoy. No, but... If you didn't enjoy day, your, you your program, you oh, wouldn't do it oh, at the same time. You just yeah. change it up. Change it, 100%. Right. Um, Dead uh, air. So Dead we're going to do the macros thing later on. People asking a lot about that. I'll give you a big one. Ketogenic diets. Um, your opinion. Well, we can cover that quickly. Um, don't like them. No. I just, like, I, I've seen people who follow the ketogenic diet and look phenomenal but at the end of the day i think there should be a healthy balance of all your macronutrients and cutting something out and loading up with something else just doesn't sound right to me here's the thing i think ketogenic like in essence if you're in a ketogenic diet you're in ketosis aren't you yeah. so you're in an extreme state for the body and it's not a sustainable state if you if you decide to go keto you have to decide to go keto for the rest of your life no I don't, that's all no, there no, is no, no, to no. it I, no you can come in and out of it the point was you have to come in and out of it you can't mm-hmm. just yeah. The whole I don't point really of ketosis know, is that you start burning fat instead of sugar because it's an emergency response by the body. Mm-hmm. So it's, you, you know that's why you get like funky breath through the ketones and everything. But that's very very different to just a high fat diet, and I think that's where people get confused. So ketogenic, if you're genuinely ketogenic, you're in ketosis, and um, that can't be sustained for a long time. You have to kind of go into it, dip out of it, back into it, dip out of it. It has to be very, very controlled, very, very regimented for it to work properly, for it to even occur, to make the body do that shit. But that's different to just running a low carb, high fat diet where you break your calories down and instead of having a lot of your calories and carbs, you put them into your fats. Mm. And some people just function better off that. They feel better, they feel more energetic because they feel sluggish on carbs. Just, and vice versa, like, Myself, if I have too high fats, I feel sluggish and I can't, I don't, I don't look as full. I don't look as, as tight. Mm. So it's kind of horses for courses. Um, so my advice would be, it's no magic wonder. It's not like, as same with intermittent fasting, that's no magic thing. The only thing with intermittent fasting is people think it's amazing because they're doing nothing. Then they start doing intermittent fasting. It forces them to eat in a certain window of time. And so all of a sudden they start being regimented with their food. Mm. And it's not the fact they're doing an eight hour window. It's the fact they're just being consistent. See, that's something I th- don't talk about is that I've been intermittent fasting for the past probably year and a half. And I don't really advertise it as such because I still hit my macros. So I don't see that it has this huge benefit on me. Do you know what I mean? No, because but... once you're hitting the same macros, it doesn't really matter when whether you eat it all in one meal no. or in 10 meals, you're still eating the same amount of food in a 24 hour period. Yeah. But it's just the consistency. But for me with the intermittent fasting, it just meant that at a certain time of night, I stop eating and a certain time in the morning, I start eating and that's it. And you and like I just, structure as well. I, I'm very structured, like yeah. I've said before, I'm very controlled in everything I do. And I enjoy the fact that at 12, in the day, I say, okay, now it's time for breakfast. Yeah. 
and I don't feel the need. I'm not very, I don't do I mean, a lot the, in the there morning. There were scientific benefits for it, but it was more to do with um, cellular repair. Mm. It's nothing to do with fat loss and muscle growth when it originally came through. Yeah. And the reason people started seeing results is simply because of that consistency to their days. They start eating at one time and finish, this is probably the more important bit, they finish eating at the same time every day. Yeah. So they start waking up looking the same every day. Yeah. And all of a sudden- Like my weigh-ins are as, very accurate. And they're not as bloaty because they make, yeah. because they, they're not, you know, Tuesday you eat a pizza before you go to bed and then Wednesday you had a chicken salad. You're going to wake up looking different each morning after those days. Mm. And one day you're going to look better and the other day you're going to look worse. And people think from day to day that if you look worse one day and that something's gone wrong. Yeah. Whereas really it's just fluctuation of the body. So the intermittent fasting in the window time kind of reduces that um, fluctuation. And that's why people think it's working in inverted commas. Yeah. It's not, but again, it's not bad for you. You can do it. If you like it, do it. It's going to do you no harm. Just again, it's not all or nothing. Um, so that was a good one. Uh, so well, these are all macros, so we'll be covering all these. Starting a diet, that's probably, and how much cardio is important. We'll cover those two. They're pretty good. Starting a diet, it is tough. Starting anything's tough. I think before you even start a, a diet, plan. I think the best thing to do is to, number one, download my fitness pal. Oh, yeah. That's or like best. some kind of food tracking My app. Fitness Pal, best UK one, has the yeah. biggest database for yeah. UK. Like there definitely. are other ones, like we're not in any way sponsored by My Fitness Pal. That's what we've always used. Yes. And um, download My Fitness Pal and honestly, now honestly, track everything you put in your mouth for the day. That sounded really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> track everything I'm just saying like anything you, on you some consume of those bank accounts. <laughs> for the day uh, no just track it like don't like try and trick yourself by what going do you, mean? Oh, I do, you won't. Mean, do you mean track what you would normally eat just yeah to yeah see? yeah like eat like so normal don't, don't, don't have any macro targets yeah yeah just, yeah just track what you just eat track normally what, and like don't like try and fool yourself and just see where you're at do that for two or three days and it'll That's give you an yeah. average of where you're at most people will be low on their protein high on their carbs high on their fats and probably Carbs would probably be because a lot of people watch their carbs and then eat more mm, fats. Maybe. So the ma majority of people are just going to be low on their protein, I don't know. which is something that will make you feel fuller. Yeah, I think maybe people, think people, will, people. people will be over on their fats if they're not trying to diet. Yeah. But I think if people are dieting, I think they will be massively over on carbs and really under eating in fats because mm. everything just, we have in the supermarket is low fat, low fat, low fat, low fat. And because that's well, the, now it's low sugar, low sugar, that's low sugar. The, the trend, isn't it? Lo and, but in reality, you need fats. They support your hormones yeah. and they support your fat loss. You really need them. Like and they I, stop you me feeling and, shit. Me and Lex eat so healthy that at the end of the day, I have so much fats left over. And I'm never going to go to mm. bed and leave my fats because as a woman, you need it. Otherwise, you just go crazy. So um, I just... Just eat. add more egg yellows in. I just like, I never think of doing that in the morning. So <laughs> I end up, because I like having my teaspoons full of peanut butter before I Whatever go to bed. Whatever works. Yeah. But yeah, um, don't don't be scared of things like like egg yellows and things like that. As long as everything is in control and it's in moderation, everything is fine. It's it's but all. The thing good. is, track your food. There's no point in saying I'm going on a diet or I I eat healthy if you're not tracking it. It's this whole oh uh, craziness okay. that eating well, avocados and poached eggs the, and the... sourdough bread are going to like make you skinny. That is just like fats, fats, carbs. You have to just start looking at what you're taking in as in scientifically macronutrient based. Yeah, very good point actually. Yeah. yeah. A lot of things that you're told are don't yeah, let's just understand you have your food. To track this your is what food. this is what tracking so a lot of people will say, Oh, it's too much. I don't understand any of that. It's too complicated for me. I can't track macros. Um weigh my food. It sounds extreme. Honest to God, like it's really not. You can you simply put your plate on a weighing scale when you load it up rather yeah. than putting it on the kitchen tabletop that's the only difference and then you register what you're eating each time yeah. and you don't have to carry this on forever and ever and ever um you will be better when you're doing it but the main thing is, is it gives you an understanding of portion control an understanding of nutritional control because you start to learn what's in food and things you thought were bad are actually okay and things you think are okay are actually really not that great yeah or you just have to watch the portion size like, there's nothing wrong with avocado there's nothing wrong with egg yolks there's anything. nothing wrong with chocolate but you just need to portion control everything yep. and then once you get the levels right then you will start seeing results and that is the big mistake people make is that i'm eating healthy i don't yeah. know what i'm doing wrong it's because you're not tracking your food track your intake and then you'll see results because 100%. then you can just and it's the exact same as well that I talk about this in my videos a lot, is that you can track your food all you want. If you're not tra tracking your cardio 
as if it's like another macronutrient because at the end of the day because that's the next question was cardio it's calories in versus calories out if you're over or under doing it on your cardio it's the same as over or under eating it's the exact same principle yep. so you need to be tracking your cardio every day just like you track your food so then you have something to change at the end of the week if you don't see a result or you're seeing the wrong result yeah and if you're doing overdoing cardio and under eating you're actually going to stop losing weight yeah. you're going to start you're just burning out your start, metabolism yeah you're going to start burning yourself out you're going to start losing muscle and you're going to start getting some serious issues in terms of like your, your overall health um so often people if you're if you're under eating which a lot of people do you to lose weight you're gonna need to start eating more and i know that sounds crazy but you have to fuel weight you have to your food is a chemical signal to your body it you're telling the body what it can run on you're giving it um a day-to-day -day log of what's going in and if that supports certain mechanisms, it will continue to fire those mechanisms through. If all of a sudden the fuel is taken away for those mechanisms, they're shut down because the body will do its best to be most efficient it can be. So you have to give it the chemical information through your food to hold on to muscle, reduce your fat stores, and all the time maintaining you know your micronutrient uh, requirements as well to keep yourself healthy. And if you think of food as fuel and stop just buying into the bullshit yeah. don't this is the best thing to do no supermarket gives a fuck about you when you walk into there they don't care about your health because it's sold on the shelf doesn't mean it's good for you or doesn't mean that it suits your requirements they just want you to buy their shit that is it and whatever they have to do to advertise it for you to buy their shit they'll do it which is why you had the now 40 percent less saturated fat mm. In something that's still horrendous, they've just reduced the saturated fat yeah. version, but still has equal amounts of fat as it had before in really small portions, making it high impact food, making it usually an error point for most people who aren't tracking. So it's things like that. It's clever advertising, clever plays on words. Um, the majority of the girls who come to me who've never properly dieted before say that they've been doing a 1200 calorie diet. 1200 calorie diet is not enough for most women who train. It's just... 1,200? No. Not if you're training regularly. No, not if you're taking in protein and everything. And the majority of these women... You when mean they to first... sustain like a maintenance level or, no, or just to progress? No, just to even get into a deficit. When I, put, when I do up their macros based on their weight, their body fat ratio, their height, all that kind of stuff, most of them are taking in much higher ca calories and then they suddenly stop, start to drop weight that they've never seen before. Because number one, they weren't tracking their protein, carbs and fats. So like most of them were probably taking in 1200 calories of carbs and fats and no protein. Yeah. And so like your protein is a great, is something as well that's really important just to balance it out. They're not tracking their fiber. Fiber is so important. They're like taking in a lot of processed foods. Suddenly they're taking in whole foods. They're taking in more protein in whatever source they can get from. And suddenly they start to drop weight and they think I'm some kind of god of nutrition. <laughs> but no, you're just like, you're doing what your body needs. And I think that's what the mistake, the majority of people who struggle to lose weight. Yeah. You see, Lex will have clients coming to him who are trying to gain weight because he'll get guys. Whereas the majority of women who come to me yeah. are looking to lose weight. Actually, most people are trying to lose, especially yeah. now we're coming to The this, majority, because it's like summer shredding, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It is very, it is a good one. Good yeah. Way. Summer shredding, yeah. Yeah, the summer shredding phase. Yeah. Um, I yeah, if, if you are shredding. struggling, I mean, my thing is, I, I get we get asked about coaching and things all the time. Lainey does coaching. I stopped doing coaching because um, I had too much on and I wasn't, just wasn't organized. I didn't feel like I could connect well enough to people at the time yeah. to warrant I've had having, to limit mine. To warrant the, the yeah. money they were pay, having to pay yeah. through the time. It's just like, if I can't offer the service to the value I think it should be at, I don't do it because yeah. morals, you know? Yeah. But... Um, <clears throat> A lot of times as well, people will be asking for coaching. I'd be like, you don't need it. You simply need a plan. Like um, Some if, people need the accountability. Yes, that's true. But a lot of times, often you don't, you, you just need a structured plan of action, like a macro plan or something like that with structures and timings developed for your body. And they're always way cheaper to do. So don't assume that <clears throat> if you get in a good, like what I do on my site that most people get is either get a weight loss plan, uh, a lean game plan, and then there's, a couple of training plans on there. Um, there's nothing overly complicated. 
But the way it's described and the way it's talked to is I create a plan that you shouldn't need to buy more than once. Like I don't, in America, there's this really bad thing where <clears throat> I know a lot of the coaches, they give meal plans, eat this at this time, this at this time, this mm-hmm. at this time. And that keeps the client in the dark. Yeah. Because they keep it. They eat I want what they to say. educate my my yeah, clients. Yeah, there's no education. So that they can move on. If they my my plans always start off at six weeks because I feel that after six weeks they should have enough knowledge of macros. I've given them the basics that they can move forward and do with themselves and continue with their macros that I've done out yeah. for them. So they've got six weeks of coaching with me and then they can move on. Obviously, if they need another six weeks, like I've had clients who've been with me for a year because oh, yeah, they yeah. like having that accountability each week. They check in with me and I adjust their macros yeah. where they need it. And then I've had, obviously, competitors who have to have that accountability once a week because they're looking for very specific goals. But like the majority of regular people who just want to learn how to track their macros and learn how to get in shape tracking their food six weeks i think is sufficient yeah and then plus at that point yeah. they're going to decide i like the accountability i'm going to keep it yeah. or i'm going to go on the same oh yeah. i'm going to give it a go and then i'm like and i back. don't get insulted but if after cool. six weeks they're like i don't i'm like, obviously there's yes, the option from this. for me it's always a success if after six weeks they move on and they and yeah. the majority of my clients still check in with me every couple of months to tell me like what's going on in their life because i feel like we get a real connection and like I, I don't take on that many clients, so I feel like really they're like my friends by the end of yeah. it because they've got someone's chat to about like what's going on in their life each week. So that's it. If you've ever got something and it hasn't educated you, they've it is a bit of a con game because they're kind of keeping you in the dark to bring you back. Um, so I always I always say so if people are asking me for coaching at the moment, just go and check out the plans, go and check out those, and see what you make of those. They're fully explained in the description, so it should tell you exactly what's going on. And I honestly believe most people that is all you would need and you would then be able to take it and run because the macro side of things, the reason I think it's so important people learn about it is it's a lifelong lesson that you'll learn. Once you learnt it, you'll never forget it. You'll never look at food the same way again. You'll feel much more controlled and you don't have that that panic of when you're going somewhere or doing something because you're, you're able to eyeball things and even if you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. It's the fact that you're confident going in there that you can get it almost right so that then you don't have that anxiety mm-hmm. or that fear of going out or missing on parties. Because the, the yeah. thing I hate the most is when people, oh, I didn't get to see my granddad's birthday on this because I was dieting for a show. I'm like, you fucking crazy. Mm. You gave up family time for some diet. You know what? It's oh. so funny. I had my client and checked no in need. this morning and she was like, I had a really good week, but on Saturday... Uh, my husband's Irish and they like going to the pub and she said I went and I had a pack of crisps and I had a couple of G&T's like I logged it all and like her macros were off like they weren't spot on for that day and um, but like at the end of the day her fats balanced out her high intake of fats balanced Calories out a lower out. yeah like yeah. they all balanced out she actually lost weight that day <laughs> and I was like and it was your refeed day so, so it's it okay yeah. and I just said number one always go and have family time that's the priority tracking your macros is not your priority number two it will get easier with time and you can always have a drink and include it in your macros it's not a big deal not only that even if she didn't count that day if she'd done x amount of weeks prior to that and that rest of that week was great and then that day she just blew it off one day will not make you fat just like one day will not make you thin go and have the fun as long as that fun isn't every second day yeah you're fine well like after my competition what happens don't be excessive Laney gained a, 10 pounds in yeah. two days. Have a little what bit happened of ha- four little days of, later? Laney dropped 10 pounds. Have a little bit of happy excess every now and again. Yeah. Don't freak out. You might, oh, you might even wake up the next day heavier. Oh, it doesn't matter. Mm. It's water weight. You diet cannot gain fat is, in a day. Diet is not your life. That no, is, dieting is not your life. Yeah. You know. And it's part of your life. Your, your life is your life. That's your, all you yeah. have. The and, diet goes around your life, not yeah. your life around the diet. Yeah. That is, yes, good way of thinking of it. So, yeah, that, I mean, that, that is important. Power is uh, your knowledge. Your power is your knowledge. Yeah. And a lot of people, through, through no fault of your own, don't understand food. Because we're not taught it in schools, and it should be. It should be a mandatory thing taught from a young age all the way through. Just yeah. simple nutrition. It wouldn't take much. You know, an, an hour a week. Yeah. Like they do, used to do, you know, you got physical education and then an hour food of... Food education. Of just, yeah, I don't know what you call it. Nutrition. Nutritional education or something like that. And that would solve most problems. Of obesity. Yeah. Other than the medicated versions. God damn, there's a lot of people who are obese and not dealing with it. Because they've been... Oh, anyway, we won't get into that. I did the whole video on that, actually. Um, 
If you haven't seen that, go watch that on the channel. It's a good one. Makes you think about it in a different way. It's called So You're Fat. Sounds like a tough title, but it's actually a really positive video. Um, a bit empowering. That's what we like. That was my point, actually, I think, about this whole thing. Because we started on the social thing about the hate and things like that. Um, I think to focus on that's wrong. Because predominantly it's very positive. Yeah, but that... You know what? I, I actually spoke to one of the girls from Gymshark about it recently. About how... Because, you know, she was just saying, oh, you look awesome and blah, blah, blah. And um, I was like, you know what? I was like, I get like like literally hundreds of positive messages yeah. every single day. And isn't it sad that it's the negative one that sticks in my head. Because it's out of the ordinary, though. Yeah. That's why. And it's like, but that's what I mean. Like, if you're there to send a negative message to someone, even if they've got, like, a million followers, this is my point, they might get a million lovely messages every day, but your negative message might actually hit an, a nerve. And why would you do that to someone? Why would you take something from someone who's positive positive? Like, I don't put any negative uh, negativity out online. I don't spread We've any covered hate. This, We've covered this. Let's not break over the same ground. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's a very good point. I just think, yeah, just spread yeah. positivity. The, po my, my, the point being is, don't be afraid of, of um, reaching out online, talking to people, um, because it is generally a very positive environment overall. Mm -hmm. it definitely is. So don't be afraid of it. There's plenty of out there. It's not scary. It's actually quite a pleasant place to go and learn all this crap. What else have we got going on? We've got, let's finish 10 minutes. Let's do current events. <laughs> I want to go and see. I want coffee. That's my current player event. Player one ready. Ready player one. Ready player one. I don't even know what it is. It it's okay. Seem like so it's I Spielberg's new movie about where everyone goes into this oasis, which is a virtual world. Doesn't sound like something. And I want because to see. the world, because the world's obviously the like standard, you want to go the standard storyline of the overpopulated world where people are now living in high rise, like. Um, mobile homes, there's blah, blah, blah. No, there's no happiness other than this VR world that's been created called Oasis where you can, I don't know, I guess it's some kind of competition Sounds to go like on there and stuff. Sounds like but I wouldn't. No, but it's, it's this meant to be this, like this 3D epic film. Like I haven't seen Avatar. So I'm thinking know. Avatar, it's another Avatar because nothing yeah. has been as good 3D as Avatar. I've never seen nothing. Avatar and I don't want to. <gasps> what? If that gets replayed, we are going, we are going to IMAX. I know, I've tried to watch it. It doesn't look like something I'd enjoy. You have to see it in the 3D because it creates, it doesn't have 3D coming out at you. It has depth. I, I love the way you try and force things that you like on Oh me. my God, no, it's so good. You, you do, you do this all the time. Yeah, because... You like something, you're like, no, you have to experience this way. And then I'll experience that way and be like, nope, still don't like well, it. Then at least you know. Yeah. So. I kind of know what I like. <laughs> and they can't recreate 80s movies. No, because they were one-offs. Mm. Very, very rare that I really like a movie lately. Yeah, but you watched 80s movies in the 90s, really. Yeah, but... So you were watching them back to the 80s? I love 90s movies as well. Pretty Woman is a 90s movie. Uh, I think it's just because we don't come up with that many original stories anymore. Everything's a remake. Everything's getting To be honest, I watched most of my 80s botched. movies probably as an adult. Yeah. They're just fun. A bit like hard. Um, so I want to go see that let me know if you've seen it is it worth seeing I also kind of want to see the new rock film yeah I wouldn't Rampage. mind seeing that because I love a bit of it's just nonsense it's happy nonsense isn't it yeah. big monsters shit getting destroyed should be quite epic that's definitely a cinema film you can watch that at home and appreciate it no I like a bit of the rock though I like cinemas I like going to cinema that's my, I like it it's my thing it's my drive but don't talk who pays to, to go to the cinema to talk when they're in the cinema? I tell you what I want to do. I want to find you know out are. more things to do that doesn't involve either going for food or going to the cinema. Like well, I said, I really want to go bowling. I wouldn't mind what? trying what? ice skating. What is this obsession with bowling? Have you ever been? Yes. So why do you want to go again? Because I, I like it. It's fun. It's something fun to do that's Do you not... have the safety bars up on the side when you no. do it? No. Oh, so you got to bowl it. Um, yeah, like if I'm going to be shit, I'm going to be proper shit. Okay. We can go bowling. It's... Yeah. I, I think it'd be fun. Bowling. I want to just do more activities. <laughs> <laughs> I want to leave the house. Yeah. It's just the weather. There's the limiting the weather in England is very limited. We are having a, a heat this wave week, this week. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. And I've got my bike booked in for its MOT tomorrow. So the Don't. motorbike will be back. Does that on mean the I have to drive you somewhere? Because I'm tomorrow. not driving. No, anywhere. riding there. Got a guy called Steve, specializes in motorbikes. He's going to MOT it for me. I'm going to have a coffee. I'm going to watch him do it. I'm going to learn some shit. And then I'm going to go on a nice, joyous little jaunt. It's raining tomorrow. No, it is not. You said it was going to be nice. No, I said Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 
Are you really kidding? It's raining. It's actually going to rain tomorrow. It's meant to be raining tomorrow. All day? Yeah. Come on, Britain. Pissing on my fun. When's the Thursday Friday's meant to be dry? Maybe it's changed. Well, that, that's better that I get it done tomorrow then, eh? Yeah, because... Because then I'll be ready for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Can't go out every day, though. Tuesday. Oh, God damn it, it is raining as well. Yeah. Oh, you son... Well... Swipe up. Tuesday, Wednesday, occasional, Thursday, Friday. I can, I can handle occasional rain You can and go drizzle. and get it... I can MLT'd, handle that. But like, I can handle I, that. I wouldn't be planning on a big I'm ride tomorrow. I'm such a fair weather rider. I love you guys know that I'm a fair weather rider. But we'll try and get some um, some some group ride outs done and sorted. I know a lot of you wanted one to be done. Um, we were just too busy travelling away and things. Um, and then the weather last year sucked towards when we were back. And I have no interest in going on ride outs. So. Once, well, you wouldn't be, no. But when we got back, the weather kind of sucked and there wasn't a good weekend that was like... Obviously, we need to know it's going to be a great weekend or something so everyone can come and enjoy it and we can go somewhere cool and stop off and have food and just have a good old chill as a big group um it's no fun riding in the rain getting cold and wet crotch swamp crotch <laughs> i don't own that kind of kit mine's all like winter summer no waterproof just thermal or free breezing you haven't been on the back of the the, the I don't want to bmw on yet i don't want to go on the back of a bike why because it just doesn't... Not even a jet, little, float, little, little country jaunt. doesn't float my boat. No? No. There's someone here. Yeah, dogs barking in the background. There would be a useless guard dogs on earth if anyone did actually come in. Actually, no, Bailey wouldn't. She'd clamp on balls. I don't know. She jumped at that asbestos man earlier like he was her new daddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else you want to cover before we finish? No, I really want a coffee. Oh, people have been asking what we're having at coffees. It's oat milk. Someone sent me a really arsy message about that. Someone sent me a message saying, how do I make oat milk? You like, buy it. Where do you get it? And I went, you buy it in supermarkets, man. That's what I sent back. Yes. And then it was a girl. I'm answering a lot of messages at a time. So I just go, brruh, man, brruh, you know, just firing off answers. <laughs> back going, I'm actually, I'm a woman. And we can't, we don't have oat milk here in our supermarkets. Um, Thanks for your bloody time, man. I was like, Jesus, what a weird thing to get mad about. You can make your own oat milk, obviously. I don't fuck that. You. But what a mad You have to get one of those how, milk. How bad was her day? She had to get mad at a response that said, you buy it in superstores, man. That's all I put. Yeah. Maybe she got accused of being a man that day. And that just sent her over the edge. Maybe you should just be more anti-woman. <laughs> <laughs> that was my subconscious, was it? Mm. Firing in there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's um, oat milk. We use oat milk and then coffee well, Lex shots, has oat Nespresso. Milk. I, I use coconut almond milk because that's the awesome one. I like the oat milk. The oat milk's nice. It's kind of a little bit, it allows the sweetness of the coffee to come through. It's, it's really weird, the oat milk. So I get it in Federal Bar Cafe. I get the flat white with oat milk and it's like so good. And I got it just to try it. But you have to get the barista one. You have to get the barista oatly. Barista really get, Oatly. Yeah, because the other ones won't froth. I know it's a pain in the ass to find on my fitness pal. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you get it from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's has the best collection of selection of non-dairy milks. Um, I, you just get loads but of yeah, different ones. Supermarkets are pretty good now, guys. Uh, if you can't find them on supermarkets, check Muscle Food. Because we work with them, they're very good. Oh, they have a new non-dairy range. If we have food or things like that that you can't find, usually check on Muscle Food. You can use um, code LEX5OFF or LANEY5OFF mm -hmm. and that'll get you 5% off your order there. Um, so, yep, DSR lines being released end of the month. We promise. I promise. Uh, if you go onto the website, um, Desire... Uh, dash? Is it a dash? Yeah, minus symbol, whatever the Desire-brand.com or just put in Desire Clothing into Google, it'll pop it up. Um, if you go and sign up to the newsletter there, I'll send out a little a little something on, on release day. Just a little something to say thank you for listening to the podcast. That's our time. Can we have our coffees now? We can go have our coffees now. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to tell people? Oh, yes. I get um, headaches when I don't have coffee. Yeah, Lane's getting a headache and we will be at the Gymshark pop-up store Yeah. on the weekend Live of from. the 11th of 12th. Yeah, 11th, 12th. 11th and 12th of May. May. Um, it's the same weekend as Body Power. We were not at Body Power, but... It's we, a free event. We are at the Gymshark Pop-Up pop -up Store, which, as far as I'm aware, is a huge place. Warehouse. Massive in the middle of, of Birmingham. It's like in so the centre. The, 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 if you've watched before and you've seen how people queue to come and see all the crew there, um, shouldn't be a problem this time. Yeah. The idea is going to be much more of an organic event where 
don't don't quote me on this, but the theory was we could get more people inside all at one go just to mill around and meet people over time yeah. rather than kind of have these sustained queues yeah. where people are outside. There will still probably be queues to meet your favourite people. Cause internal queues inside, yeah, though. Yeah, but they won't yeah. be outside. You'll be able to be in the facility we and think. you'll be able to buy. Co- no, you will be. Yeah, I, be I, I've not been given absolute specifics, but, but I we know all that will have very specific times. So you have to check people's social media if you want to see like me and Lex we'll be on at a certain time then Nikki will be on at a certain time oh, everyone will have time. yeah yeah we'll still only have like time slots because okay. there's so many athletes coming like there's so many there's people coming from Australia from um, yeah. loads of girls coming from the US guys coming from the US we'll Zoom cover everything coming. we'll cover the whole team exactly what's going on yeah. in probably the next podcast but in the meantime you can use the hashtag lift brum L-I-F-T Brum B-R-U-M uh, search that hashtag that should bring up some information for you on it and plus check out all relevant websites um, anything we'll be talking about today links in descriptions always feel free to visit mine or Laney's uh, diet and training sites we are uh, we're on those now, now. Um, new out. YouTube video from Laney mine went up yesterday this has been the Groovecast I've been Lex that's been Laney I give you a boom baby we're out <laughs> <laughs>